Welcome to my PC Tips YouTube channel. In this video tutorial, I am gonna show you guys how you can simply add any Go Galaxy games into your Steam library and you can uh, use Steam library overlay with your Go Galaxy games. So for tutorial purpose, I am gonna do this step with Witcher 1. The Witcher 1, yes. So there are two methods. In first method, I'm gonna show you how you can just uh, use the Steam overlay, including GOG, Go Galaxy Launcher or Restore, and which will help you and track your achievement and your game hour. The second method won't just track your game. It is just uh, you can just use Steam Library and Steam overlay with your Go games, and it will not track the games and achievement at Google store so let's start before starting the tutorial if you haven't subscribed the channel please do subscribe my channel and let's do this so in this first method we have to do a couple of things and we need to download a script a very small script which is not bigger than the 5 kb so this is not 5 kb it's just around 14 kb yeah just uh, i'm gonna share this link in uh, the description of the video we have to just download this to direct download Okay, just start downloading. Once it's finished, just open it and we have to just copy these and extract. You can say extract these two files to our Go Galaxy directory. So, right click on Go Galaxy, press on desktop shortcut, click open file location, go to your Steam overlay fixer, just drag and drop here. Continue, continue. Both files are copied here. Now we have to do just right click on steam overlay fix and open it with notepad ok now you can see there are two files url you have to just replace these with yours so first uh, i'm gonna sh change my game direct again location so this is c go games which are true by default mine is witcher1 right click on witcher1 desktop icon shortcut if you have or you can just go to the directory where you have stored the game just select and copy now you have to replace with this one and we have to replace our gog directory with this second line it is gog right click on it go to the property shortcut and copy entire target and then press here okay you you don't need to add ports here once you will just shift changes and click file and save it is saved just close it now what we have to do is just go to the steam and just add a non steam game to library so here you don't need to add a uh, uh, with a witcher or whatever your game is you have to add your gog store because we need to track uh, uh, our game on galaxy store that's why we need to add a store here gog select and add program it's here now you have to just change your name mine is witcher1 because people will see i'm playing gog galaxy which is so weird just go to the property and change it if your game is Witcher 3 or whatever it is you can just change it to that okay once we are here now you have to do one more thing it's the target URL we need to just type these things I'm just uh, I will just uh, provide these under the description of this video you have to just uh, replace this area with your own steam overlay fix script file which we have just downloaded this one okay what we have to do is just if you are here in your steam uh, uh, go galaxy directory just click on here url bar copy this directory and replace with this one 
although it's same but you need to just change this area okay once you done just select all right click copy come back to the steam library right click on your shortcut which we have just added go to the property now you have to just replace this with target you have to just delete first this one sorry delete all because you don't need confusion it's blank now just press here okay close we are not yet here it's not finished so there is one more important thing because your game a uh, steam uh, overlay won't work with gog game unless you do the final step what we have to do in here is make sure your gog galaxy directory just go to the gog galaxy client go to the property make sure it's not launching with the administrator privilege make sure this is unchecked make sure this compatibility mode is also unchecked okay the second thing you have to just check here go to the game if you have if your game as launcher make sure the launcher is also not running with administrator privilege go to the property don't go to the property of shortcut you have to go to the main file this is the shortcut this is the main file just go to the main file which is the launcher go to the compatibility and you can see run as administrator is checked here so unless i uncheck these i can't run uh, steam overlay so what we have to do is just click on change settings for all user just uncheck both these checks apply okay and okay so it's not still over yet because we need to go to the games exe file this is the launcher this is not the actually game file this is the launcher file to go to the system you can find your game if your game is other than picture one there is a bin folder in picture three so you can go there so this is the picture actual game exe file right click on it and just make sure it's not running with administrator privilege so it is also running with administrator privilege Click on change setting for all users. Uncheck for these. Apply. Okay. Okay. So that's done. First step is finished. Now we will check it with Steam. Just double click on the game shortcut. So this um, script will launch. So you don't need to worry about it. Will just close once uh, the dog. You know, once we start the launcher. Or to start the game, it is right now opening my Go Galaxy store, so it will take few seconds to start the Go Galaxy store. Here it is. Once we are here, just select your game, click on play. Now the launcher will start. I know it is freaking different than other games this is the launcher click launcher as you can see script cmd is gone okay the game is launching here as you can see the steam community while playing access steam community while playing the game so steam overlay okay the sound is so annoying i think so, so steam is steam launcher is running right now at the top I disabled is still there okay I disabled the sound as you can see my steam overlay is f4 as you can see this is f4 and let me remind you one more and final thing do not just use the default key binding which is the shift tab because if you use the shift tab key binding and which is uh, uh, default of the steam and gog it will conflict even after you just disable the gog uh, overlay it will it will still conflict with the steam you need to just use different key binding so i'm using f4 you can just make 
any EP, F3, F4, whatever you want, but do not use the default key which is Shift Tab. So this is the first method. Let's exit. As you can see, now the cloud, uh, the cloud was synchronized. It will track all your game records and achievements. This is the first method. Let's move to the second method. Let me just close this. Okay, we are moving forward to our second method. So once you are here in Steam, just click on Steam, non Steam game. Right? Now you have to just select your game. Okay, I'm going to this one. This will be go right. Click add whichever one. Okay, now you see go to the property and you can see. Sorry, this one is not. This one is it. That one was the script one. So you can see it is still selected. Uh, launcher. The launcher is selected. We need to change the launcher with the exe actual exe game file. Go to the system, just change it with the original file. This is the original game exe file, so we don't need to use launcher here because if you use launcher without a script, it won't work. So right after changing it, close and make sure where it is. Make sure you have not running the game with administrator privilege. We have already done here, so make sure these are unchecked if you are skipping the first method and just jumping into the second method you have to just uncheck these run program in compatibility mode and run this program as an administrator so once you did that let me just try this so you can see this one is the without a script as you can see double click let the game launch as you can see at the right bottom, the X, the access the Steam community has popped up. F4, you can see it is one. So this is it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. It will work for any bug game. Both method works. Choose any method which is suitable to you. If you have not subscribed the channel, please do subscribe or hit like button. If you have any question, you can just post. I comment on this video and I will get back to you. Goodbye.